piece of fruit actually makes it healthy. Hello and welcome to the World Series of Dating. I'm James Chetwin Talbot. And I'm Doyle McManus, five times World Series of Dating champion. Retired now, but I love the game. Yes, Doyle is here to give us expert insight and analysis into the world of competitive dating in this, the inaugural UK season. I gotta tell you, Jay Bomb, I have been mightily impressed by some of the dating I've seen in these ancient islands as I spectate on the amateur circuit. Just regular daters going at it hard in your nation's bars, restaurants, movie theaters, and public toilets. But back to the World Series. Here's the lowdown. The World Series of Dating sees seduction, sport, and supper smashed into each other. Kaboom! In each heat, four guys enter the date zone, and their mission is to date the lady for as long as they can, each second at the table earning him ten points. If you want to have sex with me, then that's fine. You're such an arsehole. These guys need to be at the top of their dating game, because if these girls are left cold, they will hit the blowout button. Not here. Legendary WSOD referee Bentley will make a judgment call on the date. For minor dating errors, the guy may get another chance, but if a dating violation has occurred... That's a cleavage violation, man. The guy is off the table. Go ahead, man. The winner is the guy who lasted the longest. Woo! The battle to become UK's greatest living dater has begun. Booyah! Booyah. Here are the four rather intimidating ladies who will be grilling our boys in the date zone tonight. Oh, yeah. First up, we have Robin. This Preston princess is 27 years old, 5 foot 10, and she likes tall men. Her ideal man being Jason Statham, who's actually 5 foot 9. Ah, Jay Stam, the thinking woman's Vin Diesel. This chick probably likes those, um, what do you call them? Books. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, we have Marissa. I met her earlier. She's very imposing. <laughs> she gave him an asthma attack. I'm allergic to perfume. <laughs> Whatever. There's a technique for these wild ones. It's like facing a charging rhino. You gotta meet its gaze, punch it in the nuts, and stick your finger in its blowhole to suffocate it. <laughs> this is basic stuff. Okay, uh, here's Bambi. Hey, she's from Birmingham, and this little deer's got blonde hair and big eyes, but does not have hooves. <laughs> Check. And finally, here is Lucy. Ah, our steamy student nutritionist. This one's a man-eater, and man, would I like to be served up on that plate. Those are our ladies, so let's go down to the date zone as I hear the first four boys are raring to go. First up, here's Tom, a lettings negotiator from Richmond. Eh, boring. <laughs> but that is a bold, confident walk. The boy's focused, and I like it. Next up, it's Chris. He's from Barry in South Wales. That is the proud mane of a dating lion and the gallop of a man ready to pounce on his prey. Oh, this boy is pumped up. Yes, he is, yes. Uh, third act tonight is car salesman Rick. 16 horsepower of passion, looking for one careful lady owner. That was lovely, very clean. With two fully inflated airbags. Yeah, back in the room. Ah. Oh, hello, who's this? Respecting the date zone now with a natty blazer, it's Michael from Newcastle upon Tyne. Sharp, I like it. This guy looks like he knows something about womankind. Well, let's hope so for his sake, because here comes the muscular mountain of mediation that is referee Bentley. He looks focused tonight, Jay Wayne. Yes, he does, it's James. Gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Dating. I'm your referee, Bentley, and this is my kingdom. You will show it, and the ladies that dwell in it, courtesy and due respect. Now I want good, clean dates. Make me and men all around the world really proud. All right, gentlemen, approach your ladies and commence dating. Here we go, let's get dating. Hello, my name's Tom. Hi, Tom. I'm Robin. Name? Robin. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. It's good. How old are you? I'm 23, but how old are you? 27. 27? Yeah. It's not too bad. You're my toe boy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? That'd be awesome. That's fine. <laughs> I'd go with that. Definitely. Strong start there from yeah. Tom. The classic butter wouldn't melt opener. Hi. Michael, what's your name? Lucy. Nice to meet you. It's just there. How are you? Nervous, how are you? Brilliant, thanks. Where are you from? Um, Oxfordshire. So what do you do? I day job, I'm a consultant for Apple. Oh. And I um, manage a nightclub in Newcastle. Right, yeah. Do you go out a lot? I quite like your accent. Do you? Yeah, it's Yours doing too. well for you. I like southern accents. Oh. Something about it, you know that London type of twang, but yeah. it's really good. So, would you like a drink? Oh, uh, yeah, lovely. What yeah. would you like to drink? 
Oh, I'm a uh, water last myself, you know. Okay. Can I get the waiter, please? Bad service in this place, don't you think? It's terrible. What's your favourite ice cream? Mint, I think. I like mint. Mint's good. Yeah. I like strawberry. <laughs> I like a bit of mixture, literally. Like, you know, the ones that are like vanilla, chocolate, yeah. strawberry. Me and the ex had an argument. Oh, and it was just like, ow, ow, ow. Oh, that's not good. That is weak! Weak! Are you doing all right? Yeah, yeah. good, thanks. So, what do you do? Um, I'm a sales manager. A sales manager? Mm. What do you sell? Um, I work for a leisure company in London. Really? Yeah. I'm a salesman. I'm a car salesman. Are you? Yeah. You look, you've, you've got lovely teeth, by the way, really white. Thanks. You haven't whitened? No. <laughs> You're not? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my goodness. No, no. Hey, that is unbelievable. Marissa's hit her blowout button less than a minute in there. Uh, Doyle, that can't be good, right? Oh, what kind of datesman opens with asking a lady if she's had work done? I'll tell you what kind, the crappy kind. This man is a write-off. Yes. Well, you could say white-off. <laughs> Why? Because he said the thing about the teeth. What? Doesn't matter. Referee Bentley is in place. Let's go over now to hear his judgment. Hi, young man. We got a situation. You're making lame conversation. For you, my friend, that's the end of the line. Take a walk, man. Get out of town. That is an offence offence. Rick is gone. Welcome to the Dating Hall of Shame, Dickie. Uh, let's check in on Lucy. This waiter's taken a while. I know, it's ridiculous. Can I get the waiter, please? Brilliant. So, so what have you got for me? What else have you got for me? Hopefully some food. What do you like okay. to eat? I'm a vegetarian. Really? Oh, you so you that? wouldn't like my favourite meal? What's that? Turkey dinosaurs, potato smileys and alphabetti spaghetti. These ladies are in a mean mood tonight. What's the problem? Quite frankly, I think he's got an attitude problem. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. He hasn't learned from his mistakes. You don't need that, and we're gonna take care of that, okay? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go there. His gag about British cuisine has not gone down well. He is gone. All right, get your ass up. Get out of here, man! I need you to walk faster now. You don't often see that violation, but do not mess with the vegetarians, man. They will literally chew you up and spit you out. Yes, they will. That's because they're vegetarian. What is? Touchline reporter Poppy Weathers is waiting for Michael now. Come on in, Michael. Hello, Poppy, Tell right? me about it. Yeah, she just didn't enjoy it whatsoever. No snake, no laugh. She buzzed me. Turkey tiny sauce, potato smileys and alphabet spaghetti. Bicky, Bicky Lucy. Not my best date ever. Get out of my sight. Do better <laughs> next time. What a bad data. So, there's always something to do. I like to say I live in the uh, posh end of Barry. I do, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. Ten minutes away from the airport. We... Five minutes away from Little Park. Yeah. I used to take my ex down there. We walked down there. Oh. The sun was shining through the like, the green leaves. And That's... we just, like, walk each other and just be happy. Oh, we used to go along. Five and a half years. Gosh, that's long. I know. It's long. I kind of wasn't happy the way I broke up no. with her either. Really? Yeah, it was... Aww. <gasps> I know. That's awful. I know. I don't. <laughs> I have to. That's bad. Yeah, you no, could but... never finish with a girl over the phone. I think someone just committed data side. That could be three boys gone already. Bambi, sweetheart, come over here for a second. He was talking about his ex, and he finished with that over the phone. He so was talking about his what? His ex. And I'll take care of this situation. All right, buddy. You're in violation, you know that, right? Conversation about the ex? Don't say nothing, don't say nothing. You're out of here, man. Take a walk. X-rated conversation, rookie error. That kind of chat has to stay in the WSOD men's locker room. Never talk about your ex, but never ever admit to dumping her by phone, <laughs> even though it's the only way to do it. Am I right, guys? Huh? Yeah, I know this guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs>
and then forward like that, and then back. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing it back down. That's really funny. <laughs> you're really nice. You're oh. nothing like I expected. Look at you. Really nice. Stop it. You are. Stop it. Gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, you are, uh, definitely. <clears throat> I'm ready to kind of find someone who interests me like you and, like, you know, just kind of is nice, just a nice person. Just yeah. Like a genuinely nice person. So, yeah. What did your, um, what did your last boyfriend look like? Um, I tend to go for the, a similar type, which is always, like, skinhead, like, yeah. no hair, quite tall, um, and kind of dark eyes. So, like, oh, wow. opposite thank you. to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But then you can always, <clears throat> thank you very much, always try someone who's not your type and see where that lands. Mate, oh, this looks really good, this actually. Really good. <laughs> I think it's got coriander in it as well, you know. I think it should blow on my soup for me. Yeah? OK. <laughs> do you want me to eat it as well? No. I just don't want to see if you do it. Not too bad, not, not too, too bad. bad. <laughs> I wonder if they have a chef for this. Oh, oh, this guy's good. I mean, this guy is good. He opened with the butter wooden melts, and what we've just seen there are two more great plays. j your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts. Well, coriander can be quite overpowering as a flavour. I think I've got a daughter named Coriander. <laughs> uh, anyway... He pretends to be interested in the woman, which is classic. And then when things looked a bit rocky, he steered the conversation away from the danger towards the relative safety of soup. If anything, I'd sprinkle a bit on top rather than involve it as a key ingredient because it... Re- Sorry. Yep, sadly, that conversation will never be finished. We have a new guy coming into the date zone. This is Michael from London. He likes to play chess. Chess? I love to play chess. Hey, Marissa. Hello. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Uh, well, how's your evening been so far? Yeah, all right. Yeah, right. Really good. But where are you from? Uh, I'm from Bedford. Bedford? Yeah, where are you? I'm from London, actually. Are you? What yeah. part? West London. Labour Grove. Have you heard of it? Uh, no. Have you heard of Notting Hill Carnival? Yeah. Right there, on that, on that road there. OK. How old are you? I'm 18. You're 18? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man down! She's really, really, really young. A spring chicken, huh? Yeah. All right, come, come back with me. Okay. She is so nasty tonight, Doyle. She gave Michael just 23 seconds there. <laughs> yeah, we got a spring chicken problem. You know, when you're a bit too young. Take a walk, Sam. It's age rage, and that is the shortest date we have ever seen, earning Michael a paltry 230 points. Well, hopefully he's learned his lesson here. Honesty is not always the best policy. In fact, it pretty much never is. Honestly? No. It's busy down there in the date zone tonight. Here comes Chris again. Let's hope Chris can do better this time. I'm picking up some signals here. Hi. Hello. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah? Yeah, just uh, relax, compose myself. Yeah, sure. Just um, being myself and just enjoy it. Brilliant. So uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from Oxfordshire, originally. How about yourself? Um, I'm from Barry, which is in South Wales. I love a good Welsh boy, I do. Uh, well, long Don't time. let me down. Don't oh, let no. me down. Oh, no, no, no. The view, the scenery is absolutely amazing. Mm. And uh, I go out in Cardiff as well. Oh, yeah. My brother's got his own club, so I just go there. Oh, really? Oh. Get all the perks. Meaning? VIP. Right. Free drink. Mm-hmm. Club. Got a beanbag room. Beanbag room? <laughs> play on, play on! Nervous start there. Uh, this is new boy, Neil. He's from Stirling, and he says his best feature is his hair. Why? What can I do? <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, thank you. Are you? I am tremendous. Ah, you nervous? Just an inch of it. A little bit. Just an inch of it. You can't help <laughs> what it. do you do? I'm, I'm currently a student. Oh, okay. I, I, do, I do many things. I'm a student. What do you study? Yeah, uh, politics. But oh, don't okay. judge me on that. Don't, uh. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a politician. No, politics. you're not going to be David Cameron. No, I'm definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> but, um, I just say your hair is ridiculously good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, fantastic. Textbook tactics there, Jay Shiz. He's gone straight in with a strong compliment. Her hair's not just good, it is ridiculously good. 
Let's leave them to get better acquainted whilst we head back to catch up on Tom and Robin. You know Baskin and Robin's ice cream? Yeah. I work there. Oh, cool. In Cairns, um, North Australia. You must have got a bit, put a bit of weight on eating ice cream every yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. Mate, I ate so much, definitely. Did you just call me mate? Mate. Did you just call me mate? Uh, that was kind of like a oh. slang thing yeah. that I do. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I kind of, I say it just kind of as a I reflex. hate being called mate. Really? Oh, God, okay. it's like, it just, no. It's you like what, what you call blo blokes get called blokes, mate. Okay, I'll first warning. remember that. First warning. First warning, okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. But mm. this is really good soup, actually, considering that um, I didn't know it would be this good, definitely. So. Oh, ouch, that was tough. It really was. He recovered very well from Mate Gate, but then he ended up drowning in his own soupy defence. I worry it's croutons now for Tom. Oh, Embarrassing slip up there, Jay. I think you meant to say curtains for Tom. No, I didn't. It's a pun. I, I was doing a pun. Oh, Lineker would lap this stuff up. What's a Lineker? It's a clear attention violation, man. You pay more attention to your soup than the beautiful lady right in front of you. Get up, boy. Go ahead, man. Bless me. Soup proves to be Tom's downfall, just like it was with Nixon. What? Anyway, he scored 32,930 points, and in a game where everyone else is getting ejected in seconds, Tom is doing very well. He's in the lead. He's with Poppy now. Tom, come on in. Well done. You lasted just short of an hour. What yes. went wrong, though? Um, I think I was uh, paying far too much attention to the soup. Mm. This is really good soup, actually, considering that um, I didn't know it would be this good. Now you clearly like that soup, Tom. What flavour was it? Liquid uh, gold? <laughs> no, it was carrot soup, um, but it might as well have been liquid gold, so uh, yeah. unfortunately, yeah, I need to pay more attention to the girl and not the food. Michael, the veggie baiter, is back. Hello, how are you? Hello. Marissa, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. You too, how are you doing? Good, thank you. you look very nice. Thank you. I like the peach. It's Marisa, not Marissa. Marissa? Yeah. I live in Newcastle. Yeah. And uh, I run a nightclub. So I look after one of the venues in London. Really? What's, which one? Yes. Um, Have you heard of a company called I Am VIP? They do the photos. Yeah. Um, I used to be director of that when I was 18. OK. Um, I used to own my own business. All right. It's an IT solutions company. After I had my own business, I kind of landed myself in a pretty good job. So it's like work during the week and on the weekend, do my own thing. Right. So it's a pretty busy lifestyle. You sound like you should be on The Apprentice. <laughs> A lot of people say that. Yeah. I, I told my family, like, since I was about 14, 15, that I was going to make my first million before 25. And um, looking forward to signal that, hopefully. Mm, I really, really like food, and I'm trying really hard not to be rude now, but all I want to do eat is it, literally just it. eat it. I um, love my food, honestly. I've got, you should see what I eat. My cousin's a nutritionist, so I probably should eat pretty well. But like, wow, he is still going on down there. Now, Doyle, throughout the season, Marisa has been a very tricky customer, but she's in a particularly feisty mood tonight. Two guys are gone, one in just 23 seconds. How is Michael putting this off right now? Well, Jar Jar, this guy just might have the dating chops. Effectively, what he's doing is using the words as if they're an anesthetic, a potent mix of boring business talk and mind-numbing narcissism. Seems to have put her completely off her stride. <laughs> I like it. Got a couple of friends who were like expecting their first child. Went and saw him last week. Mm -hmm. He said, Are you drinking? I was like, No, I am going to be. He's like, Fine, you're crashing at mine and you're drinking. I was like, You sure, man? He's like, Yeah, we've got a spare room. Stay there. Stayed up till three o'clock in the morning watching TV. Oh. Uh, crazy. It was a fun night. So, how come you always stand up their house? Sadly, I, I, I still live at home with my own dad. I, I, oh, come on. No, 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 please don't, no, wait. Yeah. I'm talking. What's, what's, what's he done there? He lives at home with his parents. Right. And quite frankly, he looks like a hobbit. That's unacceptable, it's too far. yeah. Let's have a seat. Thank you. All right, young man. Certain things you need to keep to yourself on the first date as in, like, where you live and how you live. I bounced your ass out of here, man. 
too much information violation. Well, you have to feel from there. Lucy is one tough adversary. That was like a wounded baby gazelle being stalked by a ravenous cheetah. Those are the eyes of a stone cold dating predator. It was only a matter of time before the kill was made. I love my dog, honestly. What kind of dog is it? Like you say it's tiny. Shih tzu. Shih tzu, classic. Shih tzu. Shit. <laughs> I'm awful though. People are like, you're so cruel to her because I dress her up and everything. But she's just like my little baby. My cat uh, got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Most people always laugh. People always laugh. Why do people laugh when I say that? My cat generally got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> she can't laugh at that. <laughs> It's really sad. It is sad, yeah. So people, oh. like, that's the same reaction you get every time. People just burst out laughing. I'm like, yeah, cheers. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> um, uh, Doyle, what do you... I, uh, I, I don't... I don't know, I... Because I did... I've never even... Uh, um, other Michael has joined. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, ma'am. You just call him mum. Yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> it shows that you've got manners. Yeah, I, I kind of grew up with manners because I, I grew up with my mum kind of thing. So like, Me too. I learned to I learned to love a woman a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's more like it. Talk of love for mum. Well done. Meanwhile, Tom is back. Hiya. Hi. My name's Tom. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Lucy. Nice to meet you. I like your eyelashes. Uh, Thank. Really nice. So, I'm just putting that out there, so, yeah. Cheers. No problem. See, like, I love puddings, but, like, sweets. Do you know, like, actual sweets, though? Like, Harry Bowl. I'm such a child. I love jellies. I'd have jellies over chocolate. I'd probably have a bar of chocolate, and I'd probably feel sick, but I'm going to eat jellies, like, all day. We have a heart stopper. Shit. He's about to face a mental or physical test. Mm -hmm. Ah, now, uh, I'm being told it's show me the funny. As a warning to you at home, the following scenes may be hard to watch, but please... Don't have mine, You gotta make the beautiful Marissa laugh three times in 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Three, two, one, go. What did the fish say when it swam into a wall? <clears throat> Damn. Oh, oh. Ooh, what is that? Uh, dear. Right. I could try and speak French to you. Come on. No, no, no. You see, my reply was what? Ça va bien, merci à vous? No? Je ne sais pas. <laughs> oh, wow, would you look at this? This is a total blowout. All pods are red. This is unprecedented stuff. Not only that, j Pist, it's the never happened before. It's date again. It's James. Let's get the lowdown on this meltdown. Tom went back to the 1950s asking Lucy to darn his socks. Do you have any hobbies? I'm a mean machine when it comes to sewing. I've got lots of stuff that needs stitching at the moment. Whoa! You can't have a sewn up your stuff. Man, get the hell out of here, man. Stitch that, Tomahawk. Bambi got bored with Neil. I feel really bad, but I'm so sorry. I feel bad. He peaked too early with the feline AIDS chit chat. Michael fell victim to another blast of age rage. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm 21. Baby. I'm a baby. With time almost up, the date zone is refueled like this. We've got veggie beta Michael with Robin. Hi, Mo. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Tom gets a bit of Bambi time. Bambi. Bambi, nice mm -hmm. to meet you. And Catman Neil gets big cat Lucy. Neil, how are you doing? Bye, Neil. And then there's the scent of fresh blood in the shape of Stuart, the Scottish banker. Hiya. Hello. How you doing? My name's Stuart. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm okay. Marisa. Nice Hi, to meet you. Good. Oh. Can I just check your shoes? Yes. Hey, boots. OK, cool. Is that OK? Yeah, it's all right. Just check in. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. It's all right. So how are you feeling today? I'm all right, thanks. Good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. So how old are you? 23. 23. How about you? 23. Oh, yeah. when's your birthday? 27th of September. <gasps> Do not lie. That's like my... <laughs> Boyfriends. Really? Right. Yeah. Okay. How's your how's your food? Is it good? Oh, it's good. Thank you. Is yours? Yeah, mine's good too. I'm leaving out the raisins there. I'm being really mm. picky. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <Yeah. laughs> okay. That is so mad. That is crazy. Oh, God. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Tom playing the food distraction card very well there with the tasty fruit tart. Oh, that's a little harsh on Bambi, J.K. Rowling. Or 
James, and that's not what I meant, and you know it. Like, I started my own business when I was 18. Mm. Um, I did an IT solutions company for two years. After that, I work, I'm a consultant for Apple now. And um, I also manage a club, a nightclub in Newcastle. I do club nights, um, mainly on a Saturday. Do you drive? I don't. Um... Oh, she's got him. He nailed him. The motor mouth floored there by the motoring mention. High five on that one, Jay Cloth. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I missed it. Which you did miss it. Do you like tattoos? Depends. Do you like Mel C? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, rocking one, no. rock, rock one of those tattoos, yeah. Well, let's get the full view. It's just a tiny little... It's a, it's a, good, it's a really good story about it, actually. Psh, there would have to be. Yeah. Um... And that sound means only one thing. We have reached the end of dating. Cease dating. Not knowing the tale of how Neil came to have a tattoo like a Spice Girl will haunt me to my grave. Will it? Heck no. I thought you Brits did ironism around here. Let's find out who won this thing and get to a bar. Hi, right, gentlemen. We've come to the end of this dating period. There can only be one winner. And the winner is... Tom. Well, Tom's food deflection tactic brought him out on top tonight with 64,240 points. Now, that is, in anyone's book, superb. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Doyle, your final thoughts on a very strange evening out there tonight. Men of Britain, learn from what you've seen here tonight. Do not think French is funny. Do not raise the tricky subject of feline AIDS at the dinner table and never open a date with a cosmetic surgery line. Use the truth sparingly, and only if you absolutely, positively have to. And remember, if all else fails, distract her with soup play. Good night, and date strong, Britain. Okay, J-Man, let's get out of here. I know a bar called the Throbbing Fist. Apparently, they got a beanbag room. <laughs> it's gonna be a party. Stick around, Family Guy is coming next. Now, I think everyone I know is a fan of Russell Howard and his colourful collection of T-shirts. Sorry, I think that might be a slight obsession of mine. Oh, and yours, great. Anyway, the guy is back, so be here Thursday at nine for new good news.